I call the Honourable the, the Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Well, here we hear the same refrain from the Australian Labor Party. Don't get between the shadow treasurer and the opportunity to extend the credit card, because if Labor's got an opportunity to be out there claiming to be a friend, claiming to be a friend of the Australian family, even if it involves borrowed money, then we know, Madam Speaker, they'll take it every single time. The shadow treasurer stands up and goes, we won't be lectured to about the cost pressures on Australian families, but it's the Australian Labor Party that's left the legacy of over $400 billion of debt. It's the Australian Labor Party that, in this very debate, is arguing to some increased expenditure of some $13 billion. Now, we already know the shadow treasurer stood up and he said, oh, look, there were, I concede, a couple of problems with respect to the design and implementation of the mining tax. He says there were a couple of problems with respect to the design and the implementation of the mining tax. But, Madam Speaker, these so-called problems that the shadow treasurer identifies, well, let's look at what these problems actually are. A projection of $49.5 billion worth of revenue, subsequently revised down to being a projection of around $24 billion worth of revenue, expenditure of some $16 billion tied to it. And what's the actual outcome, Madam Speaker? The actual outcome of Labor's trumpeted mining tax is net terms $400 million. $400 million. And yet the Labor Party comes and he says, oh, we won't be lectured to about standing by Australian families, as if in some way they should wear a badge of pride that they're sticking up for the next generation of Australians. Well, let's be clear, Labor Party, about what the Labor Party is intending to do. The Labor Party's approach in this debate, consistent with their approach in government, is to keep borrowing and borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. The Australian Labor Party is perfectly happy to keep borrowing more money, and guess what, Madam Speaker? They'll keep dishing it out. They'll keep dishing it out. It's like the shadow treasurer. The shadow treasurer is like the P. Diddy of his side. You can see him with one dollar notes just throwing them up in the air if he wanted to, because he's a man of largesse, a man who cares. But the reality is, the reality is, Madam Speaker that that is not the right thing to do by Aussie kids. It's not the right thing to say to Aussie kids, here, we'll give a cash flash to parents to make ourselves more popular. But the actual consequence of that is that they are going to be paying off that debt for decades. That's Labor's legacy, decades of debt. And that's the only consequence that will arise. The other extraordinary thing, Madam Speaker, as I stand here at the dispatch box, is I've had opposition members interjecting, but you want to put up the debt ceiling. Well, duh, Labor members. Well, duh. Because you're the people that, in this current situation, are now arguing against a $13 billion reduction in expenditure. We're trying to reduce expenditure by $13 billion. The Labor Party is opposing a reduction in expenditure. The Labor Party is opposing a reduction in expenditure and they're saying, but hang on, why do you want to increase the debt ceiling? Well, it's because lunatics like the Australian Labor Party, Madam Speaker, want to keep taxing and spending and taxing and spending and borrowing and spending and borrowing and spending. That's the reason why, Madam Speaker. And it's the exact reason why, as a government, we are determined to make sure that the Labor Party— The Secretary will resume his seat, the member for McMahon. Speaker. Uh, I just wish to clarify whether you regard the term as parliamentary that was just used for the record. Uh, I think the term lunatic is probably not parliamentary, so perhaps the member could withdraw. I withdraw to assist the House, Madam Speaker. I, I, call, I call the member I withdraw. parliamentary secretary. I withdraw, Madam Speaker. Uh, so they are a precious lot over there, aren't they? But the reality is, Madam Speaker, that with respect to Labor's approach, it's crystal clear. It's crystal clear that Labor's approach is to not recognise at all the message that was delivered to them from the Australian people, that the Australian people can look straight through your attempts to buy your way back into office. The Australian people have had enough of Labor's approach, which saw them borrow money and spend money and increase taxes to spend more money. The Australian public doesn't want to know about the old approach of the Australian Labor Party. They want a government that's focused on reducing debt, on reducing the deficit, 
and on reducing expenditure in order to get that mountain of debt under control. So I say to the Australian Labor Party, if you're genuinely serious about reducing Australia's debt, don't vote against this bill.